I'm gonna be running through this sketchbook, which I've been keeping since March of 2021. It includes a lot of urban sketches, random ideas and messy thoughts, and just shows that your sketchbook doesn't need to be perfect. Let's jump in. So this started in March of 2021, which is obviously uh, quite a while ago. Clearly I take a lot of time to finish my sketchbooks. So most of the sketchbook was actually done when I was in my previous job. So a lot of this, the sketches in this book are actually kind of like memories or capturing my previous workplace and where I used to work, which is in D3 in Dubai. It's quite nice, quite nice to look back at it and reflect on the memories and kind of what I was feeling. And I think that's what's really nice about a sketchbook. It's that you are able to capture those memories and kind of look back on your life in a way that is quite different to photos. So this is basically, there was like a car exhibit which was happening in D3. So D3 in Dubai is kind of like the happening place. It's one of the places where, it's called Design District. So obviously, as you can imagine, a lot of design things happen around there. So this was basically uh, looking down from our fifth floor office. Um, you can kind of see all the cars set around. It was really cool. So I decided to sketch that during one of my lunch breaks. And this was using a really nice pencil. I forgot the name of it, but it's very expensive. Uh, which shows because the pencil sketch is really nice and it was a 0 0.7 pencil lead um, I did a lot of these sketches in this book where I kind of during my lunch breaks I would look down uh, in the outside areas and I would kind of sketch um, people I thought this was really this was kind of fun um, I really struggled drawing people so that was one thing that I tried to improve with these sketches and then I just kind of made it fun with some like little imaginative what are they thinking kind of speech bubbles, thought bubbles. This is outside of our apartment, um, one of the buildings. Again, this was using a 6B pencil. This sketchbook also I used to capture a lot of ideas. I tried to um, be a bit more explorative with my sketchbooks because, with this sketchbook, sorry, because um, most of my sketchbooks I try and be really perfect and do like really perfect sketches when that's not really what you're supposed to be doing with a sketchbook. You should be messy and explorative and not really care too much about what's inside it. So I tried to do that a bit with this sketchbook. I tried to just capture, you know, ideas and thoughts. Um, this is me trying to abstract this taxi sketch that I did. Um, again, this is D3. This was me waiting for a taxi after work. And I was, um, I was just sketching one of the buildings. Uh, more ideas. Um, this is me sketching my bedroom. So at the same time we were moving house as well, so I was trying to capture that. There's actually a video that I made about that, which you can watch in the cards. This is me waiting in a car park. I think this is what's really nice about having a sketchbook that's like this size. It's A6. Um, it's nice to kind of carry around in your bag or in your pocket so that you can just kind of take it out whenever and, um, you know, just uh, sketch when you have like five minutes or ten minutes. This is me trying to do hand studies. I'm really bad with studies, actually. That's something that I really need to improve on. Um, I kind of study for like a bit and then I just stop <laughs> and then it kind of reflects in my artwork because I kind of struggle when drawing a lot of things like hands and people and things like that. This is me waiting for a friend in a cafe. Um, something I struggle with a lot as well as proportions. Actually, I just struggle with a lot of things in general. I should probably go back to studying drawing. Um, oh, I did a lot of these sketches, a lot of bus sketches, because when I was, uh, when I used to go to work, I used to go in this bus that, you know, used to wait around about 15 minutes. Um, so that was a, actually a really good time to sketch, even though there's only so much you can sketch inside a bus, but I somehow managed to do it. Um, so this is one of those sketches. It's just a diagram, just random, random thoughts. Um, this is me studying from a book. We went to a library and there's this book called The Arrival by Sean Tan, which is an amazing graphic novel. There's actually a video of the book itself on Vimeo. I would highly recommend you check it out. I'll leave a link below. And uh, I basically took the book out from the library and I was, um, I remember sitting in the library and I was drawing as I was looking through the book. Not just that book, there was another book as well. I think of Rembrandt's paintings that I uh, kind of took inspiration from. This is a sketch I did in the library itself. Um, it's called The House of Wisdom in Sharjah. If you are in the area, you should definitely check it out. More sketches from The Arrival. I really love that the book, it's got like, it's fully made of pencil sketches. So that's what I was trying to kind of emulate with my own pencil, which is a 6B pencil, by the way. 
um, more pencil sketches. I'm trying to be a bit more minimal here because I normally kind of crowd the page and I feel like it's a bit of a waste if I don't fill the page with sketches or drawings. So here I was trying to just like slow down, kind of, you know, enjoy the sketch. And I, I quite like the effect that it has actually. It's very nice and minimal. Um, these are just kind of, I think I was trying to draw every day and it worked for like less than a week. <laughs> I'm really bad with consistency. In my previous video, I talk about that. But um, yeah, I'm really bad with consistency even though it helps. Um, and it's quite nice because like I remember, I remember the uh, different, the different uh, memories associated with these sketches. Um, wow, I actually, I actually did quite a few days. It's more than I expected. <laughs> Um, more doodling, more ideas. Again, just trying to be a bit more loose, a bit more friggin' messy with the, the sketches. More sketches, more diagrams. A lot of this book uses 6B pencil because I really like that pencil. And I think using a pencil, especially a darker one, um, moving more into like 4B to 8B um, really gives a lot of values. And it, it's pretty much like you can just go out with that pencil and that's all you need, really. Um, this is more of those people drawing sketches. Um, and I feel like the line quality, when it's sketchy with a pencil versus when it's sketchy with a pen, has a very different quality to it in the sense that, personally, I feel at least that when I'm doing it with a pencil, it looks less messy than with a pen, if that makes sense. I feel like when you're drawing with pen, it needs to look a lot neater. Whereas with a pencil, you can be really free and messy. Maybe that's just me. More drawings, more diagrams. This is me trying to explore an idea. Um, you can see it's like, uh, yeah, it's me doing it in pencil and pen. Grand Central, this was like a really nice old photograph of Grand Central. It's like taken in the, when it was first made. I have no idea when it was made. Um, more shots of D3. This is where you can see the Burj Khalifa. Um, more people shots. This is an idea I learned from someone in some art video where they uh, didn't like the sketch so they stuck a post-it note and then they redrew it so I kind of tried that idea as well. Um, more people, this is me trying to be a bit more organized with the sketches so I put it out in a grid but I actually, I think I kind of prefer the messiness actually. This was taken, this was drawn from a photograph actually. More D3. I drew a lot of palm trees when I was in D3 because pretty much the only thing in D3 is palm trees and buildings and all the buildings look the same so there's not really much you can draw. Um, but I tried my best, like there are a lot of views of D3 actually in the sketchbook. Um, this is another view that I took from the bus. It's probably done in 15 minutes, maybe a bit more. And I'm actually very happy with the sketch. I love the composition, I love the negative space, I love the contrast of detail and contrast of value as well. I think it's worked really successfully and also I've been relatively neat with the hatching, which is really uh, a surprise because I'm not very neat normally, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, this is a cool sketch. This was a one line drawing or something, or like a drawing where I let the bus kind of, I was on the bus and I kind of let the bus dictate the pen movement, if that makes sense. So I just let the pen hover on the page and, you know, I had a rough idea of what I was drawing. So I kind of drew the Burj Khalifa, you know, traffic lights, cars and roads, um, basically the route that the bus takes. Uh, and I quite like it. It's kind of like a diagrammatic, illustrative kind of drawing. Um, maybe that's something I could explore more. And this is a drawing that I did in preparation for another video that I made. Hatching, like I said, I'm really bad at practice and like basic stuff. So this was me trying to practice hatching um, to use in my drawings. I think this is a really useful technique because when you're out and about, um, you don't really have time to think about oh, what hatches to use. So if you have all these things in your inventory, it really helps. So that's what I've been trying to do as well. With digital art, I've been trying to use my phone more to um, get used to apps like Heavy Paint so that when I'm actually on location somewhere nice, uh, I'll be able to just utilize the tools that I know really efficiently um, to paint something nice rather than like fumbling around and struggling with the app. Um, more messy drawings, more trees. <laughs> There's a lot of trees in D3. Um, more practice. This was a sketch of the, there was like a furniture store that was below, kind of in the building next to us, below us. Um, so I was kind of looking at the design for that. Um, uh, more pencil sketches. 
more uh, what's all this yeah it's more diagrams more drawings um, this was taken in the metro I had a pen on hand at this point like a felt pen so that was helpful um, this was taken from a photo of a friend I quite liked the composition this was she took a photo of her child um, I quite like the whimsiness of the photo um, I had like this kind of Studio Ghibli type of illustration in my head uh, and I was exploring value with the sketch the photo sorry the illustration never got made but yeah it's uh, maybe one day <laughs> um, me doing some thumbnails uh, practicing with brush pen which I've also made another video about um, this is a cool sketch I did it in a cafe that I visited before I left my previous workplace and I posted it on Instagram and then they gave me a free coffee after that which was quite nice so post your stuff online you never know what's gonna happen you never know who's gonna reach out even if you get free food I mean that's that's a pretty good perk to be honest <laughs> um, more people sketches I actually did this sketch looking at a video. I think it was one of those videos where they record, um, it was a LA boardwalk, I think. And um, there's lots of videos on YouTube where they have like 30 minutes of just people walking. And those are really good to look at when you are not able to go outside um, and you just want to draw people. Um, it's a really good exercise actually. Um, obviously you're tempted to pause the video so that you can draw the pe person in detail. But the point is that um, you're supposed to just like, as if you're actually on site, you're supposed to like draw the people really fast. I think I did pause it at some points because I would not have been able to draw these people like this that fast. <laughs> um, just random abstract drawings. I tried to be more abstract and loose with the sketchbook as well. Mm, this is more of those LA border people. This was, again, me struggling to find what to draw in the bus. I drew the handle with a different medium this time. So it, it actually kind of helps. Like when you are restricted with what you have to draw, you kind of get a lot more creative. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a drawing which I suppose is, I would never have thought to draw otherwise. Cause normally we're looking for really pretty things to draw. Um, but I actually kind of find there's a lot of interest in drawing things which you wouldn't normally draw or which are kind of boring to draw. Um, more D3, I just went out and drew something in the afternoon. Um, Oh, this is a bus sketch, another bus sketch. So as you can see, uh, I've pretty much drawn this very similar subjects, like, you know, D3 or the bus or trees, um, but I've drawn them all in different ways. And I think that's actually a really interesting exercise. And, um, oh, I should probably keep drawing like this. Um, this is me sitting right at the back of the bus in the middle and just drawing something that I always struggle to draw, which is like symmetry and repetition. I really hate drawing that kind of stuff. Um, but here I really challenged myself to do that. And I think it worked quite successfully actually, and I'm pretty proud of this drawing, even though there's not much detail to it, but the essence is captured and that's kind of what you want. Uh, more hatches. This is practicing with a thicker pen, clearly a more inkier pen. Oh, by the way, I spilled water on the sketchbook, which is why a lot of the pa all the pages actually are ruined from the top. So uh, clearly you can tell how well I take care of my stuff. Not very. Um, this is the park in D3. There's like a nice park area next to the water. Um, so this is like a structure that's there with a cafe made of shipping containers. Um, <laughs> more trees. <laughs> um, again, with different mediums. This was using pen and ink. Uh, I think I had a water brush with ink in it. And this is using watercolor. It's like a watercolor block thingy. Um, that you can colour with and then you put water on it and it turns into watercolour. So that was that. Um, more trees. This is me trying to practice hatching. This was me trying to practice value. It didn't work so I abandoned the sketch. I normally don't like to abandon my sketches but sometimes it happens. This is me studying an artist, Julie Meher too. She's a cool artist. She has nice abstract work. This is me drawing uh, a value study. I think it could have gone a bit darker but this is basically my mum praying and uh, the sunlight's coming through and it was really nice and I kind of wanted to capture that in like two minutes um, but I feel like the values could be a lot darker because when there's this was like afternoon sun late afternoon sun so um, you can as you can imagine the shadows are quite dark at that point at this point we've moved into the new house so I was trying to sketch um, this 
this actual location. Obviously it's changed a lot, but um, yeah, there used to be a desk here. There's still a desk here actually, that's what I'm sitting at. Um, there was a desk, there was a monitor, which is sitting somewhere over here, and there was like a massive chair. I say was, all these things still are here. <laughs> it's just, they're all kind of pushed out of the way, out of the frame, so you don't have to see it. Um, a sketch of a building that's next to us um, that is that was being constructed at the time, now it's completed. Um, and I didn't complete the sketch either, I had like five minutes to do it. Um, me trying to figure out five point perspective and struggling. <laughs> um, a random sketch, I have no idea. More abstract sketches, intentional doodling as I tried to say, as I called it. Uh, that's that. I mean I kind of like the the thing that the water's done, obviously it ruined the sketchbook a bit, but thankfully the whole sketchbook wasn't ruined. Um, but I kind of like the effect it gave. Um, this was me sketching at a cafe, and I've done a few sketches of this same location because I didn't get the perspective quite right. Um, so this is that. And then I tried doing it with a pencil, and I think, even though the perspective looks right here, I think I still didn't get it right, so then I tried, I tried doing more of a diagrammatic sketch with pencil, so that's why this one is a lot messier. I was trying to figure out perspective here. Like I said, I really struggle with perspective and like fitting stuff onto the things of the page, the confines of the page. Um, I don't know what this was. Maybe a diagram or something. I don't know. Uh, abstract sketching. This is me sitting outside um, at night after work and uh, Obviously it's a bit difficult to draw in the dark, so I kind of took the shapes of what I saw, of the trees and things, and I kind of abstracted it. Uh, more diagrams. Lots of diagrams in the sketchbook. There's normally not a lot in my previous sketchbooks. Um, oh, this was me sitting. I literally took a bus to the mall, which took like half an hour. And the only reason I took that bus was just so I could sketch in it. <laughs> also so I could see like the bus route, but obviously I'm never taking that bus again. It literally took way too long to get to the mall. But um, I literally just took the bus just so I could do the sketch. Um, and I, I'm very happy with it. it. Turned out very successful, I think. And the fact that it took half an hour or twice, it says 20 minutes, but I'm pretty sure it was half an hour. It just, it helps, you know, like when you have the time. This was at a conference, um, at a design conference in Al Sakal Avenue, which is another designy place in Dubai. This was me doing some ideas after that conference, sketching about it. Um, more ideas. This is me sketching outside of work, outside of my office, my new office, should I say. So at this point I transitioned both house and office. So uh, yeah, lots lots of life changes happening in uh, September of 21. Oh, September, September, September of 22, there was a lot of life changes as well. September must be an interesting year, huh? Uh, interesting month, should I say. <laughs> um, more diagrams, more sketches. Uh, I went back to pencil at this point. I think this was again me going outside of the office. I love doing that. I love going um, out of the office just for like a break and just a sketch. Um, I don't know how appropriate it is to be honest, but uh, mental health, mental health breaks. Okay, let's let's just call it that, and then no one can say anything, right? Um, this is me sketching in an art gallery, Jamil Art Center, one of my well, it is my favorite art gallery in Dubai quite frankly. Um, this was like during some event that they had. That was fun. Um, I think this was also me sketching... Oh, this is like a separate, separate date. See, it's important to date your work so you know like when you sketched it and stuff. First of September. Um, oh god, this is still 2021. This was like nearly a year ago now. Oh my god. The sketchbook's been going on for way too long, guys. <laughs> um, again, more office sketches office break sketches, should I say. More abstract sketches. I quite like this. This is made with a thick Sigma pen. I mentioned it in one of my previous videos. Me just randomly sketching some thoughts in my head. I feel like if you have random thoughts in your head and you sketch them, you should do it with confidence. Like a lot of these sketches are not made with confidence, which is why, like this one, for example, this is a sketch that's not, It's it's got a very bad line quality to it, which kind of feels like you don't have much confidence once you've drawn it on the page, whereas a sketch like this, even if it's made with a thicker pen, if you just draw lines with confidence, that gives a lot more emphasis to the sketch on the page and it just makes it look a lot better. It's kind of like if you're doing a speech or if you're talking on camera and if you're talking like really quietly and you're kind of mumbling and you know, you don't really know what you're saying, then it doesn't give much confidence. Whereas if you are projecting your voice, if you are enunciating, you know, people kind of believe 
a lot more what you're saying. And I feel like it's the same with sketches. This is me exploring values. Again, waiting at the bus stop. There's a lot of construction sites around Dubai. Uh, and I think it's really interesting actually to document them because I feel like it's nice. It's nice in general to document construction sites through sketches because I feel like you can hold up that sketch when the building or the, when the construction site is done. Uh, and it's really nice to kind of look at the comparison. This was me capturing um, what it looks like in a metro. Now, obviously this sketch, this is interesting. Obviously, as you can imagine, it's packed. Um, I did not draw this when I was in the metro because like literally there was women standing like here. So I remember as soon as I got off the metro and I had a chance, I drew this. I drew this because um, I kind of wanted to capture that essence of, you know, claustrophobia and the crowdedness and just kind of like the intimacy of the space of being crowded with all these people. <laughs> and that's the question I kind of had. How do I draw with my eyes? Because there's going to be a lot of times where you're in a location and you do not have the opportunity to draw where maybe you're feeling a bit nervous or maybe you literally don't have space like I didn't have here. Kind of begs the question, how do you draw with your eyes? How do you capture that much detail with your eyes so that later when you're able to sit down with a sketchbook, you can draw it then. That's kind of an interesting question. So I feel like sketching kind of trains your eye to capture details that you wouldn't otherwise see if you are not, uh, if you're just taking, you know, photographs or whatever. The more you sketch, the more you learn to see, and the more you learn to see, the more you can kind of draw with your eyes so that you can capture things which you can draw later on, I feel like anyway. And that's something I still need to improve on myself. These are lots of thumbnail sketches. Um, I say lots, there's like three on the page, whatever. Um, this is kind of the view outside this drawing you saw earlier. Um, this is me drawing, kind of doing a still life. Like I said, I hate repetition, so drawing, you know, this kind of thing is not my thing at all. But uh, I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone here. We're nearly getting to the end, yay. So um, more abstract sketches. I start to use a lot more soft, uh, oil pastels, sorry. This is me using marker pens. This is the marker pens that I use to do this. Uh, this is more like visual journaling. I don't remember. I actually, this is funny, like every single sketch I look at, I kind of have a memory of doing it, but this one I absolutely have no recollection of. I have no idea where this table is. I don't know. I have no idea. I can't even be bothered to read that, honestly. The sketch that I failed to complete, terrible, I know. Um, a sketch that was done in a park. Uh, and some empty pages, because what is a sketchbook without empty pages, huh? Am I right? Am I right? Every artist can relate, I'm sorry. I literally, I tried my hardest to finish the sketchbook, like finish it with, like, by completing these pages. I just couldn't, I could not get myself to do it. The last few pages are just random sketches and ideas. And that's it. And I broke the strap of the book eventually. <laughs> Wow, I really don't take care of my sketchbooks, do I? Oh, I should probably end it. Why don't we end it, huh? I actually don't know the date of when I actually finished this. Let's just put a date. Let's just put the 5th of November, shall we? 05, 11, 2022. And there we go. That's the end of the sketchbook tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was relatively useful or entertaining or anything at all. I hope I didn't waste your time. And I will see you next week for a video where I talk about the five lessons, probably, five lessons that I learned in actually keeping the sketchbook. So subscribe, like, do all the stuff, and you can check out this video in the meantime. And with that, I will see you next week. Bye.